Shadows of Deceit, by Reuben White. The mansion stood as a monument to decay, a relic of a time when it had been grand and resplendent. Now, its walls were cracked, and the once elegant facade was marred by creeping vines and neglect. Inside, the air was thick with the scent of secrets, and in its heart, an embittered couple, Thomas and Eleanor, languished in a loveless marriage. Eleanor, the mistress of the mansion, wandered its desolate halls with a heavy heart. Her once vibrant spirit had withered away, consumed by the shadows of their shared past. Thomas, her husband, had become a distant figure, a mere specter in her life. The mansion was a prison they both inhabited, a cage of their own making. Unknown to Eleanor, her husband harbored a sinister secret, one that festered like a malignant tumor beneath the surface of their crumbling marriage. Thomas had found solace in the arms of Isabella, an enigmatic lover whose presence breathed life into his otherwise mundane existence. Their passionate and illicit affair was a fragile thread keeping him from the abyss of despair. To sustain their dangerous liaison, Thomas devised a plan as twisted as the mansion itself. He convinced Isabella to abandon her life and move into the mansion's forgotten basement, a subterranean world hidden from the prying eyes of society. It was a space cloaked in darkness and forgotten by time, the perfect sanctuary for their sinful love. It was a night drenched in shadows, the moon veiled by thick clouds, when everything unraveled. Thomas descended into the basement, a pit of darkness, where the air clung to him like an accusing shroud. He had come to see Isabella, to hold her and taste her forbidden kiss, but what he found shattered his world. Isabella lay lifeless, her pale skin reflecting the faint glimmer of a flickering candle. Her death was an enigma, a mystery wrapped in silence. Panic coursed through Thomas's veins, and guilt coiled around his heart. He was convinced that Eleanor knew about his affair, that she had orchestrated this twisted revenge to torment him. His descent into madness began that very moment. As he clutched Isabella's cold body, his mind spun a web of paranoia. He saw betrayal in Eleanor's every word and gesture. The mansion itself seemed to conspire against him, its creaking floors and whispering walls echoing with accusations. With each passing day, Thomas's obsession grew. He was consumed by a relentless need to unravel the truth behind Isabella's death and Eleanor's possible involvement. The mansion became his labyrinth, its shadowy corners harboring secrets he was determined to uncover. Among the twisted corridors of the mansion, Thomas unearthed cryptic clues, photographs, letters, and forgotten mementos. Each piece hinted at a different facet of Eleanor's past, and the more he discovered, the deeper he descended into his own private hell. Was Eleanor truly involved in Isabella's death, or was Thomas merely trapped in a maze of his own paranoia? Shadows of Deceit was a narrative that twisted and turned, a suspenseful and atmospheric journey through the decaying mansion. Secrets and betrayals lurked behind every shadow, while forbidden desires simmered in the hidden recesses of the characters' hearts. Thomas's descent into madness was both a descent into the labyrinth of the mind and a journey into the darkest corners of the human soul. As the truth inched closer, the moral ambiguity of the characters became increasingly entangled. The web of lies they'd spun was a tangled mess, and the line between reality and Thomas's tortured imagination blurred until it was indistinguishable. The mansion itself became a character, a malevolent force that watched, waited, and whispered its secrets to those who dared to listen. It was a place where the past bled into the present, and the sins of the past cast long shadows into the future. In Shadows of Deceit, the theme of deception and the lengths people will go to protect their secrets loomed large. It was a story where the line between protagonist and antagonist blurred, where the true villain might be the darkness within us all. As Thomas's obsession intensified, the mansion's decay mirrored the disintegration of his sanity, and the climax approached with the inexorable dread of a nightmare from which there was no escape. In the end, Shadows of Deceit was a chilling exploration of the human psyche, a journey into the heart of darkness where secrets whispered in the night and the shadows held more truth than the light of day. It was a story of love twisted into obsession, trust shattered by betrayal, and the fragile thread that separated sanity from madness in a world where the past could never truly be buried. If you are enjoying the Mystery Within channel, feel free to hit the subscribe, follow, or like buttons for future updates and posts.
Thank you.